In our previous knot test, we looked at the improved clinch knot, the Palomar knot, and the uni knot. We found out that my favorite knot actually sucks and I need to find a new favorite. The improved clinch knot won that test by a long shot, but we're bringing the big dogs into the competition now. We're about to abuse the modified uni knot, the trilene knot, the San Diego jam knot, and the non-slip loop knot. If you don't know any of these knots, check out the links in the video description below for quick videos on how to tie all of them. We tested all of these knots under the exact same conditions using fresh 8 pound Trilene XL monofilament line. We cut 2 feet of line after each test to make sure that we weren't using any damaged line during the tests. The line spool was held tight in a vise and was tied directly to a metal ring which was then looped onto a digital fishing scale. We pulled slowly until each knot broke. In our first test, we saw that the improved clinch knot blew away the competition, but all three knots performed very well considering the tests were done with 8 pound line. The shaded cells here indicate where the line itself broke and the knot continued to hold. The Palomar knot won in terms of the knots holding together under high stress. Now let's take a look at the other knots. The modified uni knot is a variation of the uni with a second pass through the eye of the hook and seven wraps. It was substantially stronger than the standard uni, and the knot held up far better. It put up some great numbers here, with an average of 11.26 pounds of force on this 8 pound line, with the highest being 12.4 pounds. The trilene knot also has two passes through the eye of the hook, and from there it follows the steps of the standard clinch knot. It showed a high of 12.1 pounds of force and a low of 8.1 for an average of 10.69 pounds. Those numbers aren't that great, but it's worth pointing out that every one of the trilene knots continued to hold when the line snapped. The San Diego Jam Knot put up an impressive fight with an average of 11.36 pounds. It also had the highest minimum strength at 10.5 pounds. The non-slip loop knot is good for increasing lure action, but showed some disappointing results here. It was the lowest ranking knot we tested with an average break strength of 10.46 pounds. Let's pull all the important numbers together here for a minute. Looking at overall average breaking strength, the good old improved clinch knot, or fisherman's knot, was the clear winner with an average of 11.49 pounds. The modified uni and the San Diego jam knot also showed impressive numbers here. Remember, all of these tests were done with 8 pound line, and none of the averages were less than 10 pounds. With that in mind, I'm pretty impressed with all of the knots and the line itself. In terms of holding together, the trilene knot was the champion. Not even one of the tests with the trilene knot resulted in the knot itself breaking. That tells me that the trilene knot is awfully strong and you don't need to worry about that knot failing you under stress. The line or some other component will fail before the knot does. The modified uni and the palomar knot also did very well with six of the seven knots holding together when the line broke. According to these results, the trilene knot, modified uni, improved clinch, or the palomar knot would all be solid options. The non-slip loop knot was disappointing. It roughly tied the uni for the lowest average breaking strength, and the knot itself failed every single time. It still held up to more force than the 8 pound rating of the line, but it was the weakest link in the setup every time. In cases where a loop knot could be useful for better lure action, I think I'll just tie on a crankbait snap instead. If you haven't seen our snap and snap swivel underwater test video, check it out right here. Remember that videos for all of these knots can also be found in the video description below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.